Okay, so let's solve this topic. So the Pascal's triangle. So in a Pascal's triangle, so we have this one, then one and one. So always starts with one, then add these two numbers. So one plus one, that's two, then ends with one. Then again, starts with one, add these two numbers. This one is three. 2 plus 1 is 3, then ends with 1. Then we have 1, so add these two numbers. This one is 4, this is 6, then 4, then 1. Then we have 1, so 1 plus 4, this one is 5. 4 plus 6, that's 10. 6 plus 4, that's 10. And 4 plus 1, this one is 5, then 1. So if you want to continue, so just follow the process. So again, starts with 1, add these two numbers, and ends with 1. And these numbers are the numerical coefficient for every terms in the expansion. So for the first one, this is a plus b to the power 0 because any number is to 0, that's equal to 1. Then this is a plus b to the power 1. Then we have a plus b to the power 2. This is a plus b to the power 3. Then a plus b to the power 4. And a plus b to the power 5. So if we have this given, 2x plus 3y to the power 4. So since the exponent is 4, so we're going to use this a plus b to the power 4. And these are the numerical coefficient for every terms. So we have 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. So these are the numerical coefficient. Then for the first term, so for the first term, the exponent is decreasing or going down. So we have 2x to the power 4. Then this is 2x to the power 3. So the exponent is going down. Then 2x to the power 2. And 2x to the power 1. Then for the second term, so the exponent is increasing or going up. So since increasing, so therefore the last term, the exponent is 4. So we have this 3y to the power 4. And this is 3y to the power 3. This one is 3y to the power 2. And we have 3y to the power 1. Then since this one is plus, so therefore the sign, all positive. Then simplify, so this 2 to the power 4, this one is 16, then x to the power 4. Then plus, so this 4 times 2 to the power 3, this one is 8, then x to the power 3. Then times 3y, then plus 6, 2 to the power 2, this one is 4, then x squared. Then times this 3 to the power 2, that's 9. Then y to the power 2. Then plus 4 times 2x, this one is 8x. Then times 3 to the power 3, this one is 27. Then y to the power 3. Then plus 3 to the power 4, this one is 81. And y to the power 4. Then simplify, so we have this 16x to the power 4, then plus 4 times 8 times 3. So we have 4 times 8 times 3, so that's 96. So we have 96x to the power 3 times y, then plus this 6 times 4 times 9. So 6 times 4 times 9, that's 216. 
So we have this 216x to the power 2 and y to the power 2. Then plus this 8 times 27. So 8 times 27, that's 216. So we have 216x, then y to the power 3, then plus this 81, y to the power 4. So this is the expansion for this binomial. Then for this given, so if we have this x minus 2y to the power 5, so from the Pascal's triangle, so we're going to use this a plus b to the power 5, and these are the numerical coefficient for every terms. So we have 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. So we have 1, 5, 10, 10, 5 and 1. So again, for the first term, the exponent is decreasing or going down. So x to the power 5, x to the power 4, x to the power 3, x to the power 2, and x to the power 1. Then for the second term, so the exponent is increasing or going up. So since increasing, so therefore the last term, the exponent is equal to 5. So this one is 2y to the power 5. Then we have 2y to the power 4. This is 2y to the power 3. 2y to the power 2. And 2y to the power 1. Then since this one is minus, so therefore the sign must be alternate. So this is negative. Then positive. Then negative. Then positive. Then negative. So these are the sign for minus. Then simplify. So this is x to the power 5. Then we have this 5 times 2. This one is 10. x to the power 4 times y. Then plus 10 x to the power 3 times 2 to the power 2. This one is 4y squared. Then minus 10 x squared times 2 to the power 3. This one is 8y to the power 3. Then plus this 5x times 2 to the power 4. This one is 16y to the power 4. Then minus this 2 to the power 5. That's 32y to the power 5. Then simplify, so we have x to the power 5 minus 10, x to the power 4 times y, then plus 10 times 4, this one is 40, x to the power 3, y to the power 2. Then negative 10 times 8, this one is negative 80, x squared, y to the power 3, then plus 5 times 16, this one is 80 x y to the power 4 minus 32 y to the power 5. So this is now the expansion of this binomial.